This is Kai Pacha with the Weekly Pele Report. Talking to you from my backyard down here in San Pedro, Costa Rica. Today is May 11th of 2016, and we're all still standing. <laughs> well, some of you may be sitting by now. <laughs> uh, the moon is just going into the sign of Leo, coming out of Cancer, so time to get up and party and play. She's going to stay there until she squares the sun on Friday, 23 degrees Leo. Sun going on there at uh, 23 degrees of Taurus by Friday. Moves a degree a day. And then on Saturday, she goes into Virgo where she's going to stay. It's going to hit Jupiter. She's going to hit her own north node. She's going to oppose Neptune. All good things going on here, you know, uh, with that moon happening. And then uh, Libra on Monday. In the meantime, Mercury is still going retrograde, and if you don't know that by now, then uh, I don't know where you've been, because, you know, communication, conversations are wild and crazy. Everybody's losing it and going nuts, and I'm going to talk more about why that is, okay? You know, I mean, uh, some of that is just uh, a few things going on. I want to talk about the planetary nodes. Sun conjunct the north node of Mars today. But it goes on for a few days, okay? Venus coming around to conjunct the north node of Mars next Tuesday. And probably even more than that, okay, about what's been going on here with our conversations, with people going crazy, people getting depressed, people getting irritable, people losing it. This is all, I really, you know, I'm, I'm tracking it down okay to it happening here as saturn is conjunct the south node of uranus in the sign of sagittarius and this is all going on in conjunct okay this mercury venus sun has been going you know in conjunct to the saturn in conjunct to the south node of uranus and sagittarius and so I want to talk about that in today's report. It's really big coming into that. Here's my bananas. <laughs> Can't believe these things are taking forever to get ripe, you know. It's amazing. So on Friday, anyway, we also have Mercury conjunct Venus. And they're both, uh, Venus is exactly trying Pluto. So we still have this grand trine going on. It's very powerful, this grand trine. Mercury, Venus, trining Jupiter over there in Virgo, conjunct the North Node, trining Pluto in Capricorn, okay, up there, and then back to Taurus. So we have this grand trine happening in Earth. We're going to talk about that. So that's probably enough of the you know, planetary aspects for me to be talking about it. Let me look at the camera and explain what the heck that means. Oh, yeah. <laughs> another day, another Pele report. <laughs> wow. So much going on. So many people losing it, yeah? <laughs> I don't know if you've been noticing it or not, but it's not only Donald Trump that's going crazy. <laughs> are intense times yeah so let's describe a little bit more what I mean by that because I say it all the time but intensity moves in different ways and one wave comes up when in you know wave of intensity comes up and it goes away and then another wave comes up and they're they're not all the same so this one particularly this last week was mercury passing over the face of the sun it was like an eclipse we have a lunar eclipse we had a mercury eclipse okay and it's just like the sun the vital life force the source of life on our planet whatever you know blocked by mercury <laughs> you know mercury is there in the way Mercury, the messenger of the gods. And I don't want to get down too much on Mercury. It's easy to get down on Mercury. I'm going to get a little more down on Mercury, you know, today. Because Mercury is the messenger, not the message. And our thinking and our mind, okay, is the communication. It is the ego. It is, you know, this 
linear, logical, limited by time and space navigator. Okay, you know, it's like in the old days, I don't know, probably even today, <laughs> when a ship is out on the, you know, out on the ocean, there's the navigator. The navigator's not the captain. <laughs> you know, the captain says, hey, navigator, set the course, we want to go here, and the navigator does it. This is Mercury, and this is the north node of Uranus in Gemini, ruled by Mercury. This is Jupiter in Virgo, and the north node of the moon in Virgo, ruled by Mercury. So yes, this is like really important. However, this Mercury retrograde now for you know another week or so, and we talk about it, reflect, redo, rethink, recommit, re, 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 re. But I'm gonna say, I was checking out, uh, I, I can even put the link on there for the Hay House uh, Summit now, I was checking out Eckhart Tolle. He's one of my favorite guys, you know, and his whole thing, you know, and this, this is going on really big time now yeah is that our mind it's like pac-man <laughs> you know pac-man just comes in and gobble 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 and our thoughts can consume us our thoughts can gobble us up we can over reflect <laughs> we can over review we can over 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 contemplate we got to really watch out for this yeah because it's taking us out of the present it's taking us out of the now it's taking out of our hearts it's taking us out of love and it's bringing us up into this place, okay, of evaluating, of judging, of considering, of condemning, of, of converting, of, you know, manipulating and exploiting. And this ego uses the mind in so many different ways. And a lot of our thoughts come from where? They come from mom when we were in the moo womb. They come from mom when in our first three years, they come from dad, and then they come from society and our teachers. And you know, a lot of our thoughts and a lot of our identities and a lot of who we are is just like, it's a bunch of crap. It's not us. It's not our own. Right now the moon's in Leo. <laughs> and we have to understand we're moving into the age of Aquarius for the next 2000 years. And that makes Leo the shadow. Just like through the age of Pisces, Virgo has been the shadow for the last 2,000 years. The powerful feminine has been stomped on. Now we're moving into Aquarius where it's clean, okay, and it's precise, and it's, you know, scientific, and it's impersonal, and it's, and it's all da-da-da. And the shadow of that is Leo, which is the, like the, you know, the solar plexus. It's the heart. It's the, it's the original power to play and have fun goof off have a good time <laughs> you know things are getting like really freaking serious around here and i want to talk about this thing going on with saturn on the south node of uranus we were all born with the south node of the uranus in sagittarius it takes about four thousand years okay for the nodes of uranus to move through gemini and sagittarius so this is a collective consciousness, and it's a collective genius. Uranus is the genius. Uranus is the awakener and the liberator. We were all, we've all had previous lifetimes, okay? I, I think the, uh, the, the South Node went into Sagittarius like around 50 BC. So it's been there for a few thousand years, and it's only halfway there now. Yeah, it's at 15 degrees of Sag. So for 2,000 more years, we're still downloading natural law. Uranus is this great awakener, okay, of Sagittarius, which is what? Expand, expand, expand your consciousness through multicultural, international, foreign ideas, foreign philosophies, foreign realities, you know, new theories of relativity and quantum physics and all, it's like new theories. It's like Sagittarius just wants to seek greater and bigger and wider and broader truths. Well, since February, give it a one degree orb, Saturn has come up 14, 15. It's stationed at 16. Now it's retrograde going back 15, 14, February, March, April, May. This is four months of Saturn sitting 
it's like the the funnel okay of intuitive right brain simply knowing what is true what is right what is valuable what is important wh what who I am uh, you know, how I fit into the wider broader scope of things this is Saturn has been like blocking that funnel baby and it's kind of an interesting dynamic I don't want to get too negative on it, but it is limitations and obstructions. Saturn is the great teacher, where each one of us needs to come up with our own philosophy of life, our own meaning for our own existence. We have to give meaning to our own existence and not be trying to, you know, belong or fit in or get validated or get kudos, or get pats on the back, or get a bigger paycheck, or get more famous, or get more this, that, in the eyes of other people, no longer going to work, I'm sorry. Saturn says grow up, Saturn says mature. So this is actually, you know, it's not easy, but this is a time for us to really come into who we are and what we believe and what, you know, what we value and what is valuable and come up with a deeper spiritual purpose for our lives and it's getting squared by Jupiter and Neptune boom so it's very powerful and what do we have we have the north node of Uranus in Gemini for 4,000 years schizophrenia <laughs> you know all this truth pouring in is non-linear, non-logical, non-rational. It's, it's, you know, I'm going to say it's fire. I'm going to say it's like heart. It's like love. It's like this Neptune coming in from Pisces, you know, is, is blowing out the doors. So this is a time where I want to just encourage people, don't, don't get lost in thought. Go into the feeling and go into the intuition. And, and, and live a heart-based life. Be alert. Be in the present moment. And, and, and when this, you know, when this philosophy or this offer or this, you know, uh, you know uh, person wants this or is asking that or, you know, you know, is trying to explain that or, you know, is demanding that or whatever, it's like really don't be looking at it you know, in terms of, well, how much is this going to cost me financially or how much is this going to, you know, uh, hurt my this, that, or the other. It's go into the heart space. Go into the feeling space. Go into the human space. And, and just, like, use other senses. Become more alert and aware and awake and present in the moment because that's where the truth is. That's where the future and the past meet is right here in the now and this is just like right here and now so many people are losing it yeah our emotions and our feelings and everything is like coming up and it's good all i can say is it's good <laughs> it may be hard and it may be difficult and it's a lot of difficult conversations and it's a lot of it's hard to remain in that heart space it's hard to remain open it's easy to fall back into judgment you should be this, you should say that, you could do that, oh, I would do that better, oh, I would do that different, oh, I would blah, 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 blah. We can fall so easy, okay, into criticism and fall back on old belief systems from mom and dad and society and wherever the hell they came from. But it's really up to each one of us now, you know, to, to, you know, to really come more and be more original and more, you know, personal. I don't know if I'm saying this right, you know. <laughs> if you're getting this at all. <laughs> so we've got Venus conjunct Mercury in Taurus. And this is the inconjunct, Taurus to Sagittarius. Taurus is standing mountain pose in yoga. You know, it's fixed earth. It's being a bag of concrete. You know, it's being a sandbag. It's the bull. It's stillness, fixed earth. It's all my physical senses. So it's not just like... And of course, yeah, this is in conjunct. You know, Saturn on the south node of Uranus 
okay, that's, you know, wanting to judge and explain and justify and all the ramifications and, you know, uh, you know, get the letters after the name and you need more school in order to be an authority and more letters after your name and, you know, what society thinks of you and how many followers you've got or whatever, this, that, and the other. I mean, it's just like, you know, Saturn is like this social persona. It's this mask. And Taurus is the hermit. Taurus is just like, this is just what I want, what I'm feeling, where I am right now. I am just in my body. And I'm in this moment. So Venus, the, the in conjunct, it's a, it's a Virgo. It's a 150 degree aspect where Venus and Mercury are breaking away from Saturn. Yeah, so it's, you know, this is a time where we can, you know, we need to break out of old belief systems, old judgment patterns, and this can be old relationships. Yeah, and old associations and old careers. Okay, and this is a time of like Taurus is like new sources, new sources of income, developing new capacities, new talents, new resources within myself that make me more self-sufficient. So this is really a time of, yeah, you know, stepping into having, you know, healthy boundaries around my limits and around my resources and around, you know, what I'm falling for or going for or diving into. I want to dive into myself. I want to dive into my meditation. I want to still my mind. So... I want to encourage you with this retrograde Mercury. It's not about even reviewing and reflecting. It's about meditating and stilling your mind. And it's not like you disappear. I read a book many years ago that started me on the path of awakening, the handbook for a new paradigm. And it talked about the thought thinking itself. Let's move into this place, this age of Aquarius, where we observe the witness and we observe our thoughts and we observe our feelings and we observe, you know, our body. And we are all of those things and more. So, and, 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 it, and it's not easy. It takes practice. Use breath, sound, and movement, ecstatic dance, Yoga chanting, I use Kundalini chants, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, and breathing, focusing on your breath, get more into your body. This is Taurus. And this is part of this grand trine in earth right now. It's just like, get out of our heads, they're crazy making. And make sure that our conversations are coming from the heart space instead of just like being right. Oh, I need to be right, or, you know, that's my position. I need to hold that position. And da, 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 da. You know, it's, it's like, knock it off, you know? It's like, really? I am another you. It's, all of this is preparation for the recognition of the honoring and expanding our consciousness through love, through, new, through loving relationships and loving partnerships in La Cache. I am another you. I'm really moving more and more and more into this. Taurus is a preparation of self-love for deepening Scorpio, which is communion and connection and interpenetration. So we don't want to get too far into Taurus, which is self-sufficient and I'm just loving myself and it's all about me and my bank account and my hedonistic, you know, sensuous uh, appetites. No, it's like I learned this self-love in order to, yeah, then proceed, yeah, to submit, to share, to humble, to serve. This is what this Jupiter and Virgo is all about. This is the, this is like really kind of seeing some things coming here. It's, re it's, it's really beautiful, but it's, it's, it's kind of challenging because there's a lot of, there can be resistance. I was checking out Jeffrey Green last night. You know, he's talking about the future is unknown and unfamiliar and it creates insecurity. 
So whenever we're confronted with the age of Aquarius or that north node conjunct Jupiter and Virgo, serving and giving and healing and it's all about you and you and you and you, it's like, yeah, Taurus can be in fear. You know, we can go like, oh, I'm not enough. I don't have enough. I can't, I can't give enough. I'm going you know, I'm gonna lose. I'm going to run out of food and money and everything if I give, 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 give. And it, and it, and, and it creates that insecurity can it cause us to withdraw. Withdraw from the relationship. Withdraw from the conversation. Withdraw from the future. So I want to encourage us all. Go into your fear. Defy your fear and serve and give and offer and it may not be logical and rational and life is not logical and rational <laughs> Sagittarius the meaning of life you know is a mutable sign and it's right brain it's not logical it's not rational it's intuitive so when you go out of your mind and you stop thinking you don't cease to exist <laughs> You're still there. <laughs> so check that space out. <laughs> You're not limited by your thinking. You're actually like, whoa. Tapping into many past lifetimes. You're in a south node, okay, of the great wisdom teachings. So the, uh, the mantra for today then is the source of all pain and suffering is separation from the divine that happens when I'm not present but am thinking over time <laughs> I gotta say that again for myself I mean I've been sleeping on it all morning in fact it was came around 318 last night <laughs> you know but The source of pain and suffering is separation from the divine. That happens when I'm what? When I'm not present, but I'm thinking over time. So let's do this sun, Taurus, Mercury, you know? A sun, Venus, Mercury, and Taurus. Be present in our bodies and not get lost in all of these thoughts and all that North Node Uranus and Gemini all this other stuff and then we're not going to get into battles and arguments and and then that creates doubt or we're ashamed of what we said because we, you know, lost our temper or came into this or that or the other or we felt attacked and we got reactive. And I mean, it was just like engaging in all of this, like I got tit for tat, tit for tat, tit for tat. I've got to have the last word. I've got to be right. I've got to, da, 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 da. you know, it's just like, you know, this, this can just like go on and it's crazy making. A lot of people going crazy these days. I think the, the, uh, the, the insanity uh, meter, okay, is definitely going up. <laughs> a lot of people losing. I'm talking about, you know, psychologically. Yeah, and this is, this is, this is a real time, you know, of uh, stepping outside these boundaries. But when you step outside the boundaries, it can be liberating, but it can also be highly destabilizing. And so you need to be in your body. This isn't just like, you know, woof de woo try to get in your body. It's like you better be freaking in your body or, or your thoughts will carry you away into false realities, illusions, and bullshit. And then you get lost. And then when, and then when, it, you know, when it comes around that you're lost, you get depressed and all your illusions get slapped in your face right now. This is Saturn going through Sagittarius, Mars going through Sagittarius, you know. It's like, guess what? Our bullshit programs are getting slapped up in our faces right now. And it can be highly upsetting and highly depressing. So just like, come into Taurus. <laughs> come into the Earth. Come into your body. Get present. And... Psh, Sail on. 
I'm like I'm saying I said I think I said last week the walls are closing in it's getting more and more intense more and more intense we're gonna have a new moon in Gemini June 4th I think like from now until June 4th it's still it's like it's really super intense and this is why I'm slapping this stuff out here that's just like you know stay chill stay chill don't get caught up in the freaking tornado hurricanes that are going on here the Trump speeches or whatever yeah so see if I can do it one more time the source of pain and suffering is separation from the divine that happens when I'm not present but am thinking over time let's not be thinking over time let's have some fun namaste aloha so much love mm -hmm.